In the previous video, we discussed honing your book idea. In this video, we're going to discuss the research that authors need to do prior to writing their manuscript. And this is whether you're writing fiction or nonfiction. This research will help you to choose keywords and categories for your book on Amazon, as well as helping you to determine if, in fact, you're writing a book that would be profitable. Now, by profitable, I mean that you've written a book where you can at least recoup your cost or continue to write on that book's subject matter and later recoup your cost with the publishing of additional books. As a writing coach for over seven years, I've had several authors hire me after their manuscript is written, only to find out that their book idea is not as profitable as they'd expected. This happens for several reasons, including writing in a competitive genre, writing in a genre with a small demographic of readers, or writing in a genre where there has not been enough research done to ensure that the correct keywords and categories are being used. As far as profitability is concerned, I've also heard from aspiring writers who say that they are happy, even if they only sell one book. While I understand this on some level, I would ask those same authors, would you rather publish a book where you knew you would only sell one copy, or would you rather invest a little time before you begin writing to ensure that you write a book that you know will be profitable? I think most authors would choose to write a book that they knew was worth their time, money, and effort. And this is why we're going to be discussing Amazon SEO. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. Amazon is the biggest online retailer on the internet, but it is also a search engine very much like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. So having at least a general understanding of how Amazon works will greatly benefit authors and ensure that you are positioning your book in the best way possible. Before I get into Amazon SEO, let's first talk about how readers found books prior to the internet. Prior to the internet, readers would visit a bookstore and they would either browse the shelves or they would enter the bookstore armed with a book title, an author's name, or if they knew they were searching for a book in a particular category, the customer would head straight for that section instead. From the bookstore's perspective, if they felt like a book was going to sell quickly, the bookstore's owner would position the book at the front of the store and sometimes even face up on the table to catch a customer's eye as soon as they walked into the store. Amazon is very much the same, except readers have an additional choice for searching for a book. In addition to those readers who are searching for books by the author name, book title, or category, you can also search by keywords. So doing research on your book subject matter prior to writing your manuscript is important for numerous reasons, including knowing if your book idea is profitable, attaching the correct keywords and categories to your book, and lastly, ensuring that your book shows up in suggestions all across Amazon's website. Okay, so you may be wondering, how do you begin your research? You first want to begin by researching Amazon's categories to see where your book best fits in. Let's take a look. Amazon has two sets of categories to choose from. One is for physical books and can be found by selecting the book option, and the other is for ebooks and can be found by selecting the Kindle option. For the sake of this video, we will be looking at the books option. As you can see on the screen, the categories are listed in the left hand sidebar on Amazon. You can note how competitive a category is based on the number of books currently published in that category. You will see that number reflected directly next to the category. Let's take a look at the cookbook category. As of today, there are currently over 218,000 books in this category. However, once you click into this category, you can narrow down the genre by choosing a subcategory that closely relates to your book. Remember, Amazon allows you to choose two categories for both your physical book and ebook. So you may be asking, how do you determine if the book category you're choosing is profitable? Once you've narrowed down to your subcategory, you want to look at the results on your book page by clicking on every book on this page. The first thing you want to do is scroll down to the product details section. Here it will tell you the book's ranking. As I stated earlier, if the book's ranking is less than 100,000, then that means that this book is selling. You want to go back and check each and every single book on the results page. Again, I am scrolling down to the product section to determine what the book's ranking is. This book's ranking is less than 100,000. If the majority of the results are for books with rankings less than 100,000, then you can assume that the category you've chosen is also going to be profitable. 
Let's move on to keywords. Think about your book's subject matter. If you were searching for your own book on Amazon, what keywords would you choose? Compile a list of those keywords or keyword phrases and begin to type them into the search box on Amazon. Remember, the more keywords you brainstorm, the better. The first thing you want to make note of is whether Amazon believes the keywords you've chosen is an actual keyword or keyword phrase that users are searching for. You can determine this when you begin typing. If you've in fact chosen a real keyword, it will show up as a suggestion in the drop down box. Just like when doing the category research, you want to check each of the results to determine whether the ranking is less than 100,000. Remember, Amazon allows you to choose five keywords for your physical book and seven keywords for your ebook. You want to do this for each of the results on the page. What I provided in this video is a basic overview of Amazon SEO in order to help you get started with the research. Please note that there are several other factors to consider when choosing keywords and categories. So I greatly encourage you to purchase the companion guides to this course on Amazon. Those books can be found in the suggested reading materials on the lesson page. The companion guides will go further in depth on how to conduct the research, choose keywords and categories, and how to understand Amazon's algorithm.